Silva. As it just looks at you and goes, ah, and just like opens its mouth, and you see this nasty saliva leaking off of these metal teeth. This uh, glossy, elongated, blackened head as it's looking towards you. You can see there's something behind its teeth. It almost looks like it has an extra row of teeth back there. And what I'd like all of you to do for me is click, highlight your token, click on your token, and I'm gonna bring up a turn order here. And what I need you guys to do is click on your token, then go into your character sheet, and there should be a initiative dice button, I believe, in the center somewhere. And it should just roll it, and it should just pop up on the turn, turn order tracker for us. I don't know if it's gonna work the same way for me though. I'm gonna have to check this out. I might have to add mine in manually. Oh no, it will let me do it. Let's see if it works. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry guys. I'll explain while I'm apologizing in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see an initi initiative. I click on my token. Okay. You uh, selected your token, Mason? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing you an initiative either. Did you... So you clicked on your Just token? Your... And then you gotta you... open yeah. your character sheet then. Yeah, then open your character sheet after you click on your token. And then in the middle of the character sheet, you said it should say initiative dice. And you just click on that. There you go. Ooh, ooh. But I think, I can't remember which way they do this. I think it's you, oh. one is better. I think, uh, are these ascending or descending? <laughs> yeah. I think one is better. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you want to do this turn? Mm. All right, I'm going to basically the way I'm going to roll ties with the, the the dice system is I'm always going to have a PC go before a, a bad guy or NPC, and I'm also going to do another thing. I'm actually going to put another initiative on here, and I'm going to call it marshals, because you have two marshals in this building that can aid and defend themselves so i'm gonna add actually let's do this let's go ahead and actually add a label i'm gonna call it marshals add that to the turn order i'm just gonna roll d10 <laughs> they go last <laughs> All right, let's change the music. We need something a little bit more fitting for this. Something a little bit more intense. First to go, Chaplin. This just unfolded down the hallway from where you are currently doing a medical check on this dead individual. What would you like to do? So I had made a, am I still in their system through my uh, personal device? I thought you had said that you were hacking through the APC, right? Is that what you were doing? Yeah, I went through the APC on that. Yeah. Um, okay, so I can't do that from here. Um, Chaplin is going to close the door. Okay, <laughs> I got it. Um, and then, that'll, that'll be your fast action. Okay. <laughs> so you have a Is standard action any, or slow action. Anywhere within this room, uh, just looking to see. Is there like a fire alarm, a sprinkler system within the cell that I'm in? Like if there Good was a question. fire to go off, is there a fire sprinkler above me? I would want to say that that would be the safe thing to have. I have never been in a prison before. Um, I know that they try to prevent a lot of things from being inside the rooms is to, you know, entice 
So what, what would, what, I don't know. I've never been there, so I don't know. <laughs> I would say probably not in the room, but maybe in the hallway. Let me reorganize a little bit. <laughs> um, that is an I, over the, over the head of the GM question. <laughs> uh, crap, do I have anything? Hold on. Let me look at my character sheet. I don't even know if I have anything that would work for that. I love your cleverness though. <laughs> um okay i don't know what exactly this means it says i have electric tools mm. and a surgical kit a surgical kit is if uh, for surgery right like a uh, right. medical kit for surgery tools. electrical tools is probably like um you, well you tell me what would your electrical tools be Hey, what I'm hoping <laughs> is I'm going to take ooh, the bars are metal, right? Yeah. Okay. Electrical tool. A uh, little soldering iron. Sure. I'm going to try to take a scrap of bandage out of my medical kit if I can for my flow. Okay. I can and literally use a soldering iron and the metal on the bar to try to hit a spark and create a small fire and see if I can trigger the alarm. Okay. All right. Um, like that. Hold it up and then close the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're doing this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what 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 would the, what role would this be? Gosh, I have no idea. Is there a bullshittery role? Is there, is, I, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a skill in this game. <laughs> let's see. What does Chaplin have that we could use for this? Um. If I want to push my luck, I could say I'm using my technology knowledge to know the best way to light a fire to trigger the alarm. True, true. What about, I'm also like leaning towards survival though, too, in this situation. I will do it, that works. So, I don't know, I, I'll, I'll defer to you, because I, I, I liked it when you came up with that, you explained you're using your technology knowledge to do that. So you can make a contact roll. I'm going to say, uh, well, first thing, before you make this roll, because you guys were near that, well, well, you're a synthetic, so you won't take this. But also, uh, I need Mason and um, Captain. You guys both immediately take a point of stress upon seeing this thing in front of you. So you need to add one point of stress to your character sheet. Uh, Chaplain, you go ahead and make your comm tech roll. Okay. Any modifier to it or just straight? I'm going to say just straight for this. Oh, okay. Hey, there okay. we go. Uh, if you want to uh, click on your context stunts, you're going to have two stunts on this. You succeed in lighting this little band-aid on fire. <laughs> the problem is it's not producing very much smoke. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, I will say that I do it in half the time it would normally take. Okay. And it's still going to kind of consume your action to do it, though, because, I mean, even if you're doing it quickly, it still counts as your action. Uh, and then, um, okay. I'll say that it doesn't and use as much of your solder I for your soldering iron, too. Information. New or unexpected information? Yep. Oh, no. Old well, lady got bandages is going to do okay. that, but hey. Um, well, one thing that you do realize with this check is as, as you're looking, uh, the door automatically locked. So you are locked inside currently. So that's one piece. The second piece you notice is when you were kind of like frantically moving about, you knocked the body of Reese onto the floor out of the cot. And you can see that his chest has been burst open from the inside and the ribs have been broken broken out. His red tea is like ripped and just covered in uh, blood. His fingers and face seem to have been chewed off as if they were eaten. How's that so for some new and unexpected information? Jail, <laughs> <Okay>, so... <laughs> 
But it doesn't seem as if even even though you succeeded in making this thing like catch fire, it doesn't seem like like you're gonna need a much bigger fire to be able to do what you want to do. You think about that incinerator unit that Mason left in the APC. That would have been very useful right now. <laughs> oh, you know, a cutting torch. A cutting torch, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. This thing goes next. Because they have a speed of two. And in this game, the speed of the alien denotes how many times per initiative round they get to go. So, you guys may only get one turn, but it gets two turns. <laughs> so, it doesn't really have to move to do anything right now, because it's standing right next to Silva, and it's just glaring. <laughs> and I'm going to roll to see what it does to Silva. Let's go ahead and roll my uh, random. See what this says. Oh, no. Oh no. This could be real bad right off the bat. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this could be real bad right off the bat. That's a that's a head bite attack. Uh, <clears throat> so it's jaws open wide and this thing inside of it almost looks like a tongue at first, but it has almost like a face and teeth of its own inside its mouth. And it looks like it's about ready to just jet out towards you, Captain Silva. I have to roll nine base dice. Nine base dice. So which one of the NPCs is not high? <laughs> oh, man. Let me see if this will work. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so nine base dice. I can click here. I'm trying. I'm trying to do this new um, character sheet format that they have on here. So let me see if it works. Uh, attack is a strength nine base dice. Okay. Okay. One success. You have armor. Okay. So one hit is going to do damage two. So you have to roll two successes on your armor check. So if you click on your armor on your character sheet, it's going to roll those dice. And you need two of them to come up successful. Um, do I have, do I need to add a modifier for stress level? It, 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 won't, it's automatically? It, won't, it won't do it on armor checks. Oh, okay. It, it shouldn't do it. Yep. All right, here we go. If it causes any damage, it automatically inflicts critical injury 64, killing the victim in one dreadful blow. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Michael! Uh, Mason, standing there, this thing is happening, this is happening super fast. You see something on the other side just lunge towards Silva. Blood splatters over towards you and sprays you. And Silva just goes, <laughs> falls to the floor. <laughs> it's waiting. <laughs> oh, okay. And it stops uh, its turn right there. Oh, man. Why do I have, why do I have two chaplains on here? <sighs> hmm. Weird, I don't have two. I have two chaplains on my, uh... That's weird. I have a four and a five on chaplain. I, mean, I rolled really... a four. Yeah. There's, a, there's like another chaplain on my initiative order. Is uh, that the one you were trying to set as a second initiative for... Oh, wait, no, for the... No, uh, it's on there. Well, Marshall. No, maybe it is. Weird. Uh, let me try something else really quick, because for some reason I'm missing another initiative on here. I thought I rolled two. Oh. Weird. 
Uh, I bet you because it's the same token, it won't let me do it. Let me add one. I bet you that's why. Because it rolled that, and it rolled one of those. So I will take it and put it in its position. Put it there. Right. Uh, Zim. It's your turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you uh, do now? <laughs> I assume that he would have picked up some sort of commotion over the comms uh, at that gruesome site. Am I aware of what's going on inside? I would say you would be fully aware as panic just overtakes the uh, the group. Mm -hmm. All right. And probably a scream. <laughs> yeah. All right. See, see, he snaps into action. He's like, it's go time. And he uh, goes around here, runs up the stairs. And goes as far as he can uh, in one motion to be able to see what's going on around the corner. Yeah, you are able to see Gunnery Sergeant Mason standing at the door, probably with a shocked expression, pointing weapons in that direction. You can't see in yet, so you're not really sure what uh, what that what's going on inside. But you you're able to get kind of a a look at Mason. Uh huh. Okay. Then, uh, all right, then he's going to uh, run then to be able to get in far enough to be able to see what's going on. Okay, so, so that will be, that... yeah, yeah, if you move one more zone, that'll be your turn for this round, but you'll be able to get to where you can see that there's something gruesome beyond there. Mm -hmm. um, can and, I... and immediately upon seeing it, I want you to take one point of stress to your character. God, but... <laughs> yeah, he's... Yeah, his mind is just blown seeing this creature, and he's like, holy crap! Ah! Um, do I still get a slow action? Uh, well, you would have to have... So you moved one... Uh, your fast action to move one zone. To move that second zone, you would have to consume your standard action to do it. Got it. All right, well, I just got the rifle out, pointing at this thing, like, shaking a little bit, ready to go. All right, you got it. Um, so Zim goes... And before we go to the next round, I gotta ask um, <laughs> Captain Silva, which which NPC sounds more promising for you to want to play? <laughs> would you like to play Hammer, or would you like to play Dante? <laughs> what are you talking about? I still have to uh, finish pushing out the rest of my blood everywhere. <laughs> um, I was just looking at that. I think I'm gonna go with Dante. Dante, you got it. I'm gonna give you control of Dante. So you can uh, get back into this game. <laughs> I've been, I'm just reading the sheet right now, trying to figure out who this character is. There you go, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, You've got some interesting things to read on there, too. So, uh, In player journal, I'm going to add... Uh... Here we go. I'll give you control of the character sheet. So you should be able to see it in your journal now. For Dante and Iona you are up all right Iona's gonna um look around grab everything they can like that's useful be like I'm ready to roll guys and just like start climbing up out of the uh the tank thing with um just a immense amount of gear and take up one standard action to do that okay. and then just get to the tippy top of the stairs with her movement Okay, yeah, absolutely. Bear I don't know what's male or female. Their name is Kale. You can, you can, make, it, you can make it. It's up to you. Gender is okay. totally up to your choice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, Iona, getting up the stairs, you can see that the receptionist is starting to freak out. Mm. And it looks like she's getting ready to, like, run outside. <laughs> um, this would have been uh, Captain Silva's turn. <laughs> but... Uh, Mason, Sar Gunnery Sergeant Mason can see. Yep, yep. It's F and chat. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, Captain Silva off the initiative order. Uh, Private Hammer can get basically just inside the reception room as he is running just past Iona. Just getting in inside. He's pulling out his... Um, I think he has a smart gun. He's pulling that out and getting that equipped. 
as he's running inside. Uh, Captain, speak to us! Captain! Captain! You okay? And he's running, running inside. Um, it's the alien's turn. <laughs> It turns. It's gonna be and turn. Sure. On the alien, so is Silva on the ground? Is Silva grappled in any way uh, by the alien, or Silva's no? Just, so he's dead. He's Silva's on the just laying on the ground, massive hole okay. in the skull. Okay. Okay. All right. So, seeing Mason there, but also hearing things happening behind. The alien just slowly turns its head around and looks back down the hallway after hearing <laughs> some things happening behind. This weird smell seems to resonate from a burnt band-aid. And <laughs> the alien charges towards the grating of this jail cell and is going to ram the jail cell with its dome-like head. And there's a special roll I gotta make for this. Let me uh, double check my readout oh, here. Of course there is. <laughs> okay. Here's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> okay, eight base dice. It's gonna attack it with eight base dice. So let's do, uh, let's just go to the character here. I'm gonna put base dice, eight in the box. And make a roll. Two successes. So as it slams in there, each one of these successes inflict one point of damage to the bars. They start to bend and give way, but these bars are pretty tough, and they're holding strong for you, Chaplain. As the aliens just like, <laughs> just starting to ram at the door. Um. You did that very. You did that very well. <laughs> if um, if if you would have been a, a a person and not a synthetic, you'd be taking some stress right now. <laughs> First thing I evacuated my bowels. <laughs> um, That's why I went at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, Dante, Private First Class Dante is up next now in control by formerly known as captain silver <laughs> i'm gonna have to need to know the uh the date of of today so that way i can do an r.i.p captain silver <laughs> um so i'm gonna make a move following everyone else uh so i guess i would move to right following iona from behind yeah, you would, um, you would if for one move you can get to where Iona is. If you do two, you can get like right next to Zim. But that would be like your whole turn. Gotcha. Um, I'll go to one move by Iona, and then um, I'll have I'll I'll have my RPG out, okay. um, and then make sure the safety's on. Got it. <laughs> and then would that be my turn? That would probably be your turn. Yeah, because you're like shh, getting this massive, basically bazooka on your shoulder, ready to go. It's like a mini. I'm coming launcher. for vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, uh, fantastic. So that means it is. Uh, where's Hammer at? I thought Hammer was on here. Oh, I'm Hammer, rolled, stepped in. Oh, for Hammer. Hammer stepped in. That's right. Yep. So the next person to go is Gunnery Sergeant Mason. What would Mason like to do? Lock and load? Lock and load. Uh, what, uh, what weapon are you using? I've got my pulse rifle. Okay. Firing down the hallway? Yep. All right. Now, um, am I, I took one stress. I took one stress when it first appeared. Yes. And so I did not hear you say I had a second stress from when he died. Yeah, but I think you probably should take a second stress because of that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think now that you see Captain Silva laying there on the floor with this massive gaping hole, 
the front of uh, front of the head and just this puddle of blood just forming all around and no response i would say that'd be pretty stressful okay <laughs> all right and so i gotta find my gun fire <laughs> all right so i'm gonna take let's see attack is a is a slow action yes attack would be your slow action Did it, it didn't come up. It didn't come up. Uh, did you press on your character sheet the attack you wanted to do? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. On the um, oh wait a minute. I'm sorry. I had weapon five clicked. Sorry. Oh, you're all good. No. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So, what this means is you miss and you panic. So, you start unloading your clip down the hallway. But I have nerve. I'm going to use the nerves of steel. I have the nerves of steel. Yeah, what does talent. that do? Tell everybody what that does. Okay, the nerves of steel. Let me make it over to the sheet and read it. Um. I keep a cool head in all situations and thus get a modification to all panic. Get a minus two on any panic rolls. Minus two to your panic. So you still make the panic roll, but it's minus two, whatever the result is. Right. So go ahead and still make your panic roll. What you're going to do on your character sheet in the middle, there should be like a panic button. If you press that, it will give you the number of what your panic roll is. But your weapon, will, your smart gun, will be completely unloaded. As Chaplin, you're just trying to duck. As all these bullets are just flying into the cell. <laughs> Chaplin's on the ground trying to hide behind a cot in a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Five, Got moves like Jagger. So the great thing about that is that you you keep it somewhat together, even though you just got done unloading your entire clip, and now your smart gun is just going click 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 click. It's going to take you an action to reload that weapon. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> You still have a fast action good. left. Oh, wait. I just rolled my panic rolls. Yes. You still have a fast action left, though, because you just did your slow action, which was to fire. And you did your panic roll and you kept it together. But your weapon is now out of ammo and you have one fast action you can do. If you'd like to use it. <laughs> um, and I can't a fast. Uh, a reload is not a fast. That's a slow. I believe a reload is, is a slow. Can somebody is somebody have the rules yeah. up? Uh, yeah, I think yep. I think a reload does consume a slow action. Yes, but it's a fast action to uh, switch yeah. weapons. Slow. So if you have another weapon on you that's loaded, you can use your fast action to switch up. I'll pull up my service. Uh, service pistol. Service pistol. Okay. Got it. So fast action. Mason's like, crap! <laughs> and just pulls out the service pistol really quick. Poor poor chaplain's just been showered with bullets down there. <laughs> All right. The I'll marshals. The marshals, you hear the the elder the the with the, the, the older uh uh, Marshal back here goes uh, by the the computer here and grabs his shotgun and goes and turns around and starts uh, just kind of almost moves next to Mason, but pretty much that would consume his whole round to go get his weapon, get it loaded and ready to go. Then you hear coming out of the interrogation room another one cocking a shotgun and kind of pulling up here beside Mason. Neither one of them can get into any kind of range to take a shot. Even if they did, seeing Chaplin back there, I'm not sure they would take the shot. It's it's hard to say. Um, that brings us to Chaplin 
himself. Chaplain, there's an alien trying to bust his way into your jail cell. Okay, uh, looking at the cot that I've got here, what is on top of the cot? Uh, nothing but a massive blood stain. There's one little sheet on it. Okay, um... There's a little pillow. And this thing, is it? Is this thing putting, like, arms? Is anything coming through the bar at me? I mean, it looks like it could probably, like, get its tail through if it really tried, but it looks like right now all it's doing is, like, massively headbutting this thing. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Why not do something crazy? I'm going to go into my... Medical kit. Okay. It's a med kit. I use it for surgeries. I know I've got sedatives in there. Absolutely. A general anesthetic. I'm going to fill up the syringe with as much of it as I can. And with this thing headbutts in, I'm going to take a syringe and just try to jam it into just its head. Stab and try it with a syringe. Fantastic. Well, sedative. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go, go for it. Let's make a, uh, go ahead and make a, uh, this would be just like a close combat roll. Okay. <laughs> Close combat with the syringe. Nope. Oh. Okay, here's what happens. You do hit it, but it breaks the needle. And the liquid just kind of pulls out of the, pours out of the front of your syringe. And it just looks at you and goes, and then begins to headbutt the bars some more. Okay, I'll use my fast action to just say on the comms to everyone. Attention if you are not aware, and Captain Silva has been killed by this a creature that is now trying to kill me. <laughs> Please assist. <laughs> and then you're going to sort of duck back behind the bed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the cot screeches against the floor. Is <laughs> his chaplain hides behind it. I love it. Uh, it's gonna go and it's gonna slam its head into um, <laughs> into the grate again. Oh uh, boy. Let's go with this. We're doing base Eight. dice. Eight base dice again. Uh. It slams into it for three. Wow. Uh -oh. The, now, some of these bars are starting to bend out, or like inward towards you extensively, as it's now taken five points of damage, but they're still holding. These are some pretty intense bars, but it's just bashing its head against them, trying to get inside. Uh, Zim, you're up. Man, <laughs> alright, he's got, he's got that rifle ready. Need to get to a spot where I can see the alien. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of like, I don't know, move around this way. Oh, and uh, is there anywhere where I could get overwatch position or just aim from? Like, drop to a knee and take steady aim on this guy? Yeah, like, if you get like right beside Mason, you could do that. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, if you take overwatch, though, basically that's saying, like, you're holding your... You're basically holding your shot until something happens. It's kind of mm -hmm. like holding your action. You. Yeah, um, so I'll drop to a knee, and I've got the uh, got my uh, M41A pulse rifle, kind of like up against Mason's left hip, uh, to steady myself okay. on one knee and take a shot at it. I um, think aiming gives you a plus two modification. Am I correct on that? Yeah. Okay. That's the idea. So go ahead. You take a knee. You got sight. You're gonna add a plus two modification, and you're gonna take your shot. Plus two? I think you just do two. I don't think you put the plus. Right, no plus on it. Yeah. Oh. I think I think the plus messes up the algorithm in the. Equation. Oh. You may be right. So I think I just messed it up. That's okay. You can try that again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because there can be minuses too. Yeah. Ooh. No oh, right. The minus. Oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. The adrenaline flowing through you from all the stress has helped you succeed. Get as well. some. <laughs> nice. 
So your base damage on that attack is two. So you're gonna do two Correct. points of damage, but you also have two extra um, blips there. Now I do have to. You got to decide what your stunts are first, and then I got to make an armor roll because these things do have armor. They arm, and it is armor piercing the rounds. It is, so it will it will half its armor roll. Mm hmm. Mm, uh, one stunt. I want to make it fall to the ground. Okay. Excellent. So you're gonna use one stunt to fall to the ground. What about the other uh, extra that you have? Does that pin down thing work uh, to make it make a panic roll? I don't think that's aliens don't not, make panic rolls. They don't do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they make us panic. Yeah, that's right. That's fine. Uh, I will switch initiatives with it though. Uh, okay. And then uh, I get one more stunt for one more point of damage to three total. Well, you the first one counts as a hit, so you only get two mm -hmm. stunts. Two stunts. Okay, I'll switch initiatives and drop it to the ground. Okay, switch initiatives with it and turn uh, drop it to the ground. You got it. Uh, so the base damage on that again was, I believe, two. So it makes yep. an armor roll. Its armor roll is only going to be four. So base dice four for armor. Let's see if it can negate any of those uh, points of damage. It does negate one, so it does take a point of damage. We'll put that here. Actually, we'll put that here. One point of damage. Okay. And um, uh, something else happens. What could that be? Uh... It starts, uh, the, as bullets are striking this in thing, uh, acid begins to splash <laughs> from to any uh, individual within what would be considered engaged range, which would be your warrant officer. Oh, shit. Uh, chaplain. Great. Hey. And it also took one point of damage, so I've got to add one. No damage taken from the acid splash. Wow. Nice. As acid... Using the cot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot behind the cot <laughs> saved you, Chaplain. As you can hear, like, this hissing noise taking place, and this odd acidic smell starts to fill the aroma of the room. Uh... <laughs> well done, uh, Zim. So it falls to the ground. It starts screaming and squealing. And you switch initiatives with it. So that means that you are going to switch to initiative seven. Seven. It was a four, yeah? Well, it has two. Oh. So I was assuming you wanted to take its next initiative. Sounds unless good. You, unless you'd rather yeah. switch. Is yeah, that... I like that. Okay. So I'm going to change you to seven. And I'm going to change uh, this to four, right? Is there, or were you five? Five. five. I'm gonna change it to five. So that will make you move down the order to here. It moves up the order. But Iona is next to go. Alright. I'm gonna look to Jonte and be like, Yeah man, we're finally get to see some action instead of like being stuck out here all the time, man. Lock and load, baby, and I'm gonna like click my whatever I have in my hand and walk in the door. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you can basically get into like base or Zim and Mason are with one one movement. That'd be your fast action. My fast action is to stand here. Oop. Click to stand here. Are you just gonna stand there? Yep. Okay. You have a standard action. Yep. Okay. Let me see. Should I take it? Okay. Uh, I I <laughs> will. I will take it. You can still, um, like, you can get beside the door and take a shot down there. Okay, if you want to. I didn't yeah. know if there was, like, cover and stuff like that. So I can move up here and take a shot at it. You yeah, think? you can kind of, like, peer around the corner. Yeah. Okay. All right. I did. So I do want to do that with my long range smart gun thing. Sure. And I just click attack. Yeah, you'll just click attack and attack as so you start unloading down there. Okay, two. Whoa! You got two. Okay. Armor piercing damage. Okay. So you do have, you can do one of those stunts, those range combat stunts. Yeah, I forget how to do that. If you scroll up a little bit, you'll see there's some already in the chat. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the, um, is that range still? 
Mm-hmm. You'll see it says skill, range, combat, and it'll give you this list over there on the, the okay. chat. And you can pick one yeah, from that um, list. It's already lying down, right? It is, it is prone. It is lying down. Okay. Can I... Uh... I need to double check the rules on firing on a prone target in this game. I couldn't remember if there was a modification on I'll that just, or not. I'll inflict one more point of damage. If you, find, if you find the official rule on that, let me know. It might make it a little bit more difficult to fire on it. Okay. Yeah. I know right now it's just kind of like squealing and, and rattling down there, so I don't think it would affect too much. But. So... Yeah, I would just um like to inflict another damage to it. You got it. So base damage three plus one would be four. It does get to make a base dice uh, armor roll of four because your armor piercing weapon. It does not soak any of that. So four damage, meaning. This thing is pretty, pretty hurt, but not taken out of the fight and acid begins to splash more. Sorry. Sorry, Matthew. And it adds four extra dice because it did four damage to the target as it's being chewed up. More acid is just spraying everywhere. Sorry. Two points of acid damage sprayed upon Chaplin. My bad, tree. My bad. <laughs> Chaplin, your synthetic flesh is starting to dissolve away in different parts as it's just uh. like hissing and you can smell this uh, terrible smell coming from yourself. So sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll end Iona's turn. Bringing us to Private Hammer. Hammer time. Hammer moves into the room. Gets on the other side of Iona. And has the smart gun ready. Fires a smart gun down there. Did anybody see if there was any modification on a prone target? Did it say anything about it? No. no, there's a table on Is lots that doesn't it doesn't mention it. Yeah. Doesn't mention it? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, the only thing in chat says prone opponents give standing opponents a plus two mod on close combat. Awesome. Thank you, chat. I appreciate that. Yeah. Nice. I didn't I I know some RPGs have like things against like range combat against, you know, prone targets and stuff. So I was just making sure that I wasn't messing that up. Alright. Whoa! Hammer's bringing the heat. It's actually, Chaplin over there. Yeah, yeah. I did At least he's still alive. Well, for now. <laughs> uh, so that's ends. Okay. So this is armor piercing. I'm just gonna say Hammer's gonna use both stunts to do extra damage. Hammer's just coming in <laughs> and just starts going nuts. Sees uh sees Silva Captain Silva's body like laying there and just goes ape and just starts like unloading the smart gun, screaming the whole way. Um Armor. I wonder if I can make um Let's just do it this way, it's easier. Base dice four armor. Only soaks one. So that means that four points of of acid splash <laughs> goes up uh, towards Chaplin. We go all our NPC concessions. Oh no! What would happen? Three acid damage from more acid splash to Chap. Oh no. As he is continuously showered as he's hiding back there with all this acid damage coming up at him. The good thing is, for you guys, is the alien has been brought to zero health, which means it has to roll a critical injury. I'm 
I'm gonna have to find this chart because I don't think it's on my uh, roll 20. I'm gonna have to add that in for next time. I apologize. They have their own critical injuries. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was in the back here with the rest of them. Critical injury. Body, body explodes. Everyone takes acid damage. Right. <laughs> Let me see if it's in the um, in this document real quick. Sound waves. It is Alien's drone. He says it's 291. 291. Perfect. You are a savior. Thank you, chat. 291. Perfect. I got to add that to my roll 20, so I'll have it for next time. Perfect. Okay. Um, rolling a d6. Let's see what it ends up being. Two. Okay, so this thing is staggered, rolling across the floor, uh, bleeding severely. Um, it doesn't seem to be taken out of the fight yet. It doesn't seem to be losing consciousness. It's just rolling around on the floor of this hallway. Um, Zim, you're back up. All right, back <laughs> up because you positioned yourself nicely with your rolls. <laughs> yeah, feeling feeling pretty encouraged now. Yeah, now we're all getting in the fight. Yeah, I like this this way. Six what I live just for. Like squealing all around. It looks like uh, it's got wounds everywhere. Acid is just spewing everywhere into the hall, dissolving parts of the floor, dissolving mm -hmm. parts of the uh, the jail jail cells around it. Wow. Well, I don't know what it is, but I know that it looks like it's taking damage, and it needs to get dead so we're just gonna keep shooting it uh aim aim shot uh one knee oh roll wow. pretty good oh, 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 oh gosh one knee aims again and fires one oh my goodness four successes yeah so <laughs> you make the call on this one. Oh man, this doing more damage. Help! It's already like at zero, right? She to keep hitting it. Uh, well, I'm gonna use one stunt to pin it down again, so it doesn't get another turn before I get to shoot it again, okay. just in case. So pin down one, and then three or two extra damage. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say with such an extensive hit, you start to fire down and you shred this thing into two pieces yeah you kind of carve it. but the problem is it's still spraying acid everywhere as you hit it nope. uh so i do need to make another acid splash oh, roll. God. <laughs> and you said you put put it into damage you did one uh so it's a so two th so that's another four added to the acid splash total yeah so I'm gonna put four on there and submit this for acid splash damage one point of acid splash damage to Chappie. <laughs> All right. Making it. Chappie collapses. Ch Chappie collapses. Oh, no. Like, here's what, oh, here's what we got to do. We've got synthetics have their own critical injuries chart. Do medkits work on them? They have to repair themselves. <laughs> repair themselves. <laughs> or they can get somebody to repair them. How about a, a high private first class repairing you? It might work. Let me see. Um, let me look for my synthetic rules. Because I don't think those... Are, I, I gotta put these over. I, in my other Alien game, I had all the charts, like quick charts in there. But for some reason, they're not in this Destroyer the World mo module. I'm trying to find my synthetics. Because, yeah, when you go to zero, you you take a critical injury there, Chaplin. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It wasn't all your fault. I, I took an NPC fire down there, too. I am not seeing it. Combat and panic, maybe. Soundwave, if you're still in oh. here, any idea where the uh, synthetic critical roll chart is? <laughs> Page 111 for since You are a savior. <laughs> yeah. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> Love it when a fellow GM comes in and helps me out. Let's see, 111, here they are. Okay, 
Uh, Matthew, I will let you do the honors. Go ahead and roll a d6 for me. Come on. <laughs> Six. A four. It's a four. I don't like that. <laughs> head dislocation. <laughs> the head. <What? laughs> so it says here that the android's artificial neck is sev uh, severely fractured and its head uh, placed in an unnatural position. All fast actions become slow actions. Your head is sideways on your neck. Currently. Oh, As the acid has dissolved it, like, yeah, you're like. Oh, yeah. That's a Terminator 2 kind of. <laughs> yeah. <it's> everything, <laughs> right? The flesh is just melted off of his face. He's got the half <laughs> Terminator look going already. Now the head's just gone. So now, technically, like with Sense, like you are still. You, you have zero health, but you're still, like, conscious. But you're kind of taken out of, like, commission currently. You're just kind of like your head is resting over there. You can still talk. You can still do stuff. Um, but now you have this issue <laughs> that you're going to have to figure out how to resolve. I'm going to take you guys out of combat. As that is the end of that encounter. And they get easier, right, Michael? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is alien. <laughs> uh, Mason, Hammer, Zim, everybody out here, you guys are just looking upon the remains of your captain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> even yeah. chat saying you guys got some pain coming <laughs> yeah yeah can, can i come tr running in and just kind of see everyone's like expression and just like because i have no idea what's going on all i know is that they were shooting and i just come running in oh yeah yeah and immediately whenever you see the dead body of your captain go ahead and add a point of stress Dang oh, it. I, was <laughs> that. I have to do that too. Yeah, immediately when you see the dead body of your captain, I would say everybody except for Chaplin because Chaplin's a synthetic. Uh, you take a point of stress. But right okay. now, you guys are looking back there and you can see that there's bent uh, prison cell uh, bars. Some of them are dissolved away from the acid. But you can see sitting beside a dissolved cot is Chaplin kind of laying there on the floor next to another dead body that seems to be being dissolved by acid. But his head doesn't seem to be attached correctly to his body. Oh, buddy. We gotta get you back into swords there. Uh, Let's get him out of here. Yeah. It I, I, would be appreciated. I seem to be in some minor need of minor repair. Yeah, about that. Um, do you I mean, need help getting out? You said minor repair. This is this is the worst thing I have ever seen, and I have seen some bad, bad things. Like, wow, I'm. Whew, we got this. All right. Who? We, we, these things. We these things were on were on uh, Yafaro and at Yafaro Station. We fought these same things. These creatures. They were there. It's the same damn stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Hammer looks at you. you. You've seen these before? Yeah! Yeah, they killed the whole platoon at Euphoria Station. They, ki they killed everybody? Yeah! I was the only one that got out, damn it, and, and they're, now they're here! That's unfortunate, bro. Hammer's like looking down over uh, Captain Silva's body. Takes his helmet off. Dang. He's just like <laughs> staring. <laughs> I guess I'll go down. I'll go to the. Is the receptionist still there? Receptionist is outside. She... she ran outside. Okay. Uh, you notice that Marshal Hyams and this other Marshal are there with shotguns, like looking at all this with shocked expressions on their face. And Hyams is looking down the hallway and he looks right at you, Iona, and says, 
What the hell was that? Don't know, bro, but can you let my other dude out of that cell down there? That'd be golden. Honestly, if you look at the cell, most of it is already dissolved away. You could probably okay. pull it right out without opening the door. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's like a big hole in the floor. Like, it's... Guess I'll <laughs> go do that. Okay. Come on, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> He's Thanks. moved your head the other way. He's surprisingly hefty, like, for, yeah. for his build. Like, he's, you can tell he's made out of, you know, a material, and it's pretty heavy to carry. No one wants to help me with this dude who's, like, charged to save our lives with... So, no. Well, okay. Gunnery Sergeant, I mean, Captain's dead. The Warno's, you know, half decapitated. I think you're in charge now. You want us to help Who? you? Who? Who's in charge? That's you, Gunnery Sergeant. What? Yeah, yeah. Gunnery, Gunnery oh, Sergeant here. Mason would be the next in line if okay. Captain is dead. Warrant officer is kind of out of commission. I think next on the list is Gunnery Sergeant Mason to take command of the unit. Until until until, until Chappie's feeling a little bit better and can. I got it. I've got. I've got. Uh, I'm rolling yeah. something in my hand. We have two gunnery sergeants. Iona's oh. a sergeant. Oh, I yeah. thought Iona was gunnery sergeant. No, I'm, I'm you're the gunnery. gunnery. Yeah, you're gunny. No, so, uh, you help me with this really heavy yeah, body. Let's, let's, I help you. Let's, let's, I got you, Iona. I help you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Great. Let's get him out of here and um, maybe go back to Fort the Nebraska. Sounds good. Take him back where he can get some, where we can fix him up right. Good idea. I go up to uh, the captain's body. My my arms <laughs> twitching. Okay. And I just I just stare and I just neutral voice. How'd she go? I just ask how'd she go. As they're carrying Chaplin away, it's the head still cocked sideways. Light to the face. Head exploded. And I just kind of look. And my arm just twitches again. And I just turn around and just walk outside. As Dante walks out of the Marshall Station, that's where we're going to end this episode of Alien, Destroyer of Worlds. Thank you.